Hello, welcome to English 080. In this class, you're going to learn how to write paragraphs and in the end, write a five paragraph essay. You will also be refreshed on grammar, everything from nouns and verbs to pronouns, modifiers, and whatnot. What I want to do here is to show you around your Blackboard course. Since this is an online course, you're going to be doing the majority of your work through Blackboard. So, to get started, when you first enter the course, you're going to get to the announcements page. Periodically throughout the semester, I will be posting new announcements. Please make sure to take note of the announcements and read them carefully. The first announcement is simply a welcome. It tells you that the recommended browser for um, Blackboard is Firefox. If you don't have Firefox on your computer, you want to click here to download it. The next thing it talks about is what you have to have to be here. Uh, in order to qualify for this class, you have to have earned between a 31 and 46 on the writing skills placement test. If you scored below a 31, you should be in English 070 or have completed English 070. If you have scored above a 46, you should be in English 090. Now, to get started in this course, you're going to go first to the information section. So over on the left-hand side, you've got buttons. We're going to click on information. The first thing you'll see is the book we use, Focus on Writing. You are required to purchase the textbook, and much of what we will do, you will need to have your textbook in order to complete. Next is the orientation. The pre-curriculum policies are the policies for every pre-curriculum class at Wake Tech. And they are going to talk about the academic integrity policy, which means your work is your work from this semester, no one else's and not from any other semester. The grading uh, schema for any pre-curriculum class is a seven-point scale, A, B, C, and F. Notice that there is no D. Anything below a 76 is failing. Attendance. You must attend 90% of your class. Even on an online class, you have to attend 90%. What that means is there will be two dates uh, each week, Monday and Thursday, where something is due, and that's what is going to count towards your attendance. If you miss three of these assignments, then you will be dropped from the class. Email account. Everyone has a Wake Tech email. You must use your Wake Tech email for any official correspondence with me or any other uh, college official. Any email that comes from me will also be coming from my Wake Tech email account. Uh, I will show you later where you can get information on how to set up your Wake Tech email if you haven't done so yet. Late homework is not accepted. Your work is due usually on Monday at 5. You can turn it in before that, but you cannot turn it in after that. There are no makeup tests permitted. All the tests you do in uh, this class will be done on Blackboard, and so you'll have the entire week to complete them, but they must be completed by, again, Monday at 5. If you decide you need to withdraw for whatever reason, just send me an email and let me know the reason why and I will withdraw you from the class. Now, computer requirements. Because this is an online class, you are required to have a computer that you have regular access to. And this computer should be um, at least Windows XP um, with at least 512. 12 megs of RAM. The software you need is Word, Microsoft Word. That's what we're going to use to write all of our papers. You can have Word 2007, 2010, or even 2003. You want to use Firefox. Like I said, there are things that don't work right in Internet Explorer, so you want to go ahead and switch over to Firefox and use it regularly. And you will need a high-speed Internet connection, Roadrunner, um, satellite, internet, any of those, dial-up is not going to be sufficient to download the files and upload your files. If you don't have Word at home, you can um, purchase Word from Microsoft using the student discount. This is called the Ultimate Steal. 
and it will allow you to purchase the Office Professional Suite for $79.95, which is much cheaper than the two or $300 you'll find it for in the store. The next thing is your focus on writing Exercise Central. You'll need to register for this, um, and each time that you log in, you'll need to, each time you go here, you'll need to log in so that you get the credit for the work you're doing. Uh, each time you have an assignment, it'll be in one of the units, and you will need to look and find it and complete the assignments. Uh, when you first get to your um, information section, you can go ahead and click and go ahead and register. That way you can get started. One other thing when you register, make sure that you put in my email address for the instructor email. Otherwise, I won't get any of the work that you're doing. Now, key account. In order to log into Blackboard, you had to use your key account. Your key account is also what you're going to use for your email um, and other things at Wake Tech. There's a tutorial here that will take you through how to um, use and activate your key account, your email, and all those sorts of things. So take some time to read through it. Um, you're sure to find some things that you are unaware of. We use Windows Live. With Windows Live, you have a SkyDrive. The SkyDrive gives you uh, 25 gigs of storage for your own files that you can use. Um, it also shows you how to log into Blackboard, which hopefully you already know how to do. Um, and then how to use WebAdvisor. WebAdvisor is what you use to register for classes every semester or to check what classes you're registered in, any of that sort of thing. So that's here as well. If you plan on being on campus for any reason, you're going to want to get a student ID card. You need to use a student ID card to go use the lab, the ILC, or the library. If you click on this link, you will get a link to the student ID area, which will give you their hours, updated hours, um, and what it's needed for. You also want to go ahead and register for the virtual ILC. What that is, is the place where you can send your papers as you're working on them to get some help with it, some feedback. And so here's what they offer. Here's how you sign up and how to get more information. So go ahead while you're here, take some time and go ahead and send the email to register. If you have um, any need of the Wake Tech Disability Services, there's a link here to take you to their site so that um, you can get more information about them and any help that you might need. Windows Live is what you're going to use for your email. This, there's a presentation here that will show you how to do some of the things you can do with your account. There's also a link here for distance learning support for the library. Um, we don't do any research for this class, but if you need to do it for any of your other classes, here's some resources for you. And if you run into difficulties on the weekends or after 5 p.m., you can click here to go to Blackboard 24-7 support and ask any questions you might have about Blackboard, not the class, but about Blackboard. Um, between 8 and 5, you can call the 866-7000 number and get uh, support at Wake Tech. Now, moving on to lessons. Each week, you'll have a folder come in. The first week is going to be week one, obviously. Um, what you've got here is going to be the date, the topic, the textbook, what you need to read in your book, and then what to do that day. Okay, So week one is where you're going to start after you get through your information. I'm not going to go into week one during this tutorial um, in an effort to keep it as a surprise for you. However, I am going to show you week two. Week two is more of a typical week. Um, week one isn't going to be separated quite the same. So in week two, you're going to have a grammar section and a writing section. So every other uh, week, you'll have one of each. Make sure you take the time to go into each section. At the beginning of each section, you'll have your objectives, you'll have your to-do list. This is a sort of a checkoff list of everything that you need to do that week. And then any activities, um, tutorials, anything like that that'll be here. 
Um, this is your focus on writing assignment. There's a link to take you there, but this is a list of all the things you're going to do. And yes, I know there's a lot, but there's not many questions in each one. And then finally, a quiz. Now, if you want to get out of take uh, out of doing the grammar assignment, if you can score a 100 the first time on your uh, quiz, you don't have to do the exercises. Now, your writing area is going to look exactly the same, obviously different things. Um, you are going to have a discussion board in the writing section each week. And the discussion board, first post for the discussion board is due on Thursday. This is going to be one of your attendance points, is this Thursday. So make sure every week by Thursday you've submitted something to the discussion board. Each week in the writing section you'll also be working on a journal. You'll be given a topic and then all you need to do is write for 10 minutes nonstop. Don't worry about your grammar, don't worry about your spelling, just write for 10 minutes and um, go. Then like in the grammar section each week there are going to be different activities. Um, in this particular week there's a writing assignment um, similar to your grammar assignment using focus on writing but normally there is not. Um, then you've got a quiz and again if you score 100 on this quiz the first time you don't need to do those exercises. Um, you're also going to sign yourself up for a group. We're going to be using these groups for peer reviews of your paragraphs and your essay um, throughout the semester, so you're going to join a group. Um, you don't know who's in the group, you just randomly pick a group. Um, and also in the writing section you're going to be working on paragraphs throughout the semester, and so your instructions for that will be here as well. Now. One good way to um, check on things is here in resources. If you click on resources, you can look at my grades. And in here you can see what grade you made for something. This is my weighted total right now. I have an A. Um, so far I've completed my week one journal, although I did get a note. And so you want to read whenever there's a comment. You can always click on full comment. It'll give you the whole note in case some of it is cut off. You have due dates all for the whole semester. So if you're at the end of the first week, which would be the 23rd by 5, you need to go in here and make sure anything with a due date of the 23rd is completed. Notice that for this week, August 19th, um, you do have the Blackboard Welcome to Blackboard quiz and that is due on Thursday the 19th. So you want to make sure that all of these activities are completed um, by the due date. If you want to print this out as a reference, um, you certainly can, and then that way you can check things off as you go through the semester. I don't believe there's going to be anything added to this list. Um, if there is, I'll put up an announcement and let you know that something's been added. Another thing in the same tools area that you'll want to look at is the online attendance. In here you'll be able to see if you've um, missed classes, what, how many um, presents you have, how many absences you have, and there'll also be a list of all the days um, down here as they go. So for example, I've been present on the 9th and the 12th, even though classes haven't started yet, but um, so you'll be able to keep an eye on this. And any A's are going to be um, count against you. Remember you can miss 10%, which is going to be uh, three, three classes. Um, also in this tools area you can go to your group from here although it's also going to show up on the left hand side. You can go to your journal from here. Um, you can go to the discussion board from here uh, and you can send email to me or to the entire class from here. If you click on send email and you want to send one to me, just go to all instructor users and then type in your message. So that's about it. One, uh, The only other thing is there's a contact Ms. Wilson if you need to get my information. Just click on that link and that will give you my information. You're welcome to come by and see me at any time. Um, give me a call, send me an email. I'm pretty much on campus from 8 to 4 Monday through Friday. Uh, just call and make an appointment if you want to come just to make sure I'm in my office. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm here to help you, and I'm looking forward to a great semester, and I hope you are as well.